Good afternoon fellow Pipers, Mark, Welsh Piper 62, hope you're all having a good week, um, a bit of Wednesday waffle, um, I've been out today with my partner, done a bit of window shopping, oh, it's a bit, uh, bit chilly at the moment, it's um, starting to get a bit dark here now in the uh, crew in the UK, and there's a bit of a breeze, cold breeze blowing, so that's why I got the uh, this has now become my smoking jumper and I've got the mirror out which I haven't had for a long time um, we were talking on a few of the lives last night I think three of the lives I was on last night I was up to like 4 o'clock this morning on the lives so someone mentioned they haven't had smoking the mirror for a couple of weeks I think it's about 6, 8 weeks since I had mine out I've got some um, I think it's from what I'm smoking here is uh, Autumn Evening 2020 from B Dog John. So thank you, John. Slowly enjoying the, uh, the tobacco you sent me. Well, the ones I've been given by people I've um, put into jars and stored away. I don't want to be smoking them all because I'll see some of them. Uh, what I've been asking for some like oldish, you know, the older blends. So I'm put, I've been putting them away and just having like the odd bowl now and again. So thank you guys for whoever sent me stuff, much appreciated. Because I said that's, uh, I've got no aged tobaccos, so I'm not getting that um, the taste and the flavours of aged tobaccos. But a few people sent me aged, some aged stuff, so thanks everybody for that. I want to talk about some mirrors, guys. This little bit of waffle. Um, yeah, I, today I've seen a couple of mirrors. Now there is a way of testing whether it's block meerschaum or the stuff has been mixed together with something else. Now I believe they take in moisture, and because the bowl, most of the bowls are waxed, you've got to go inside the bowl. Obviously, you can't go licking pipes, and it the draws the moisture off your tongue. Would it, is there, can you suggest a way, maybe a Q-tip or some a bit of water on, will it draw the water off that to prove it's proper meerschaum, block meerschaum rather than the fake stuff? Because I've seen some couple of cracking pipes at good prices and they're brand new. But, here's my question, and I know a lot of you will know, but on my, on my stem, it's the screwing type stem into the into the shank, and I know they can, they can break pretty easily. So my question is, is, even though they're good value pipes and they've never been smoked or anything, one's like a lady, you know, a sort of a naked lady, and uh, on the front, on the front of the pipe, and she's sort of leaning against something, or she's bowl or whatever, I don't know, but it's, it's all carved and everything, as you know. Very nice pipe, and, 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 and my missus pointed it out to me. Where, excuse me, bit of wind, I beg your pardon. And then I found another one's got like a carved head of um, a prince or some gentleman or whatever, you know. And the one with the lady in it is pretty deep. It was, it must be about three inches deep. Very light, as meerschaums are. But I'm not sure if it's plastic. <laughs> but you know, it says meerschaum on it. But because um, of where it was in the in a store I've looked at, I don't know what it's not. It wasn't a pipe shop. Um, I don't want to give too much away, but you know it was a good it was a good price, and I, I want to go again Sunday and have a look, um, make make some more inquiries because I didn't have time this afternoon. So I don't know what the end stems are called, you know, with the, uh, the screwing, and I don't know whether you can unscrew them if they do snap, and are they, I don't know how they're set into the uh, into the mirror. So, if any guys can give me some advice, please put it in the box below. Uh, that would be much appreciated. Um, so, what am I up to? I've not been up to long. I'm back in work on Monday night. So, I'm going to, as you know, most of you know, I'm on new meds and all that for my blood pressure. So, I've been told, I've been advised by the hospital just to take, you know, a bit of time off. Let me body just to do the, med med the meds in case there's a, have any reactions to it or anything. Caught um, Donald Donald Hughes last night just about on his on his um, tailgate before James. 
poor old James, someone got him upset and crying again last night. Come on guys, what are you playing at? You know, we all love the man, but come on. Oh god, I lost my lighter. No, you haven't got me that one in my pocket. I'm just using my little um, train light, train light today. There's a one I normally use just run out of gas, so I'm be bothered filling it out. I said, I've just not long been not long been back in from a little shopping day out. So I wanted to get this video up just so I can get it up while it's still a little bit of light in the in the air, because obviously I can't smoke inside. Hmm, this is nice. Oh, it's autumn evening, guys. Cornell and Deal. Oh, this is not. Mm. Oh, yeah. Yes, that's nice. I do like that. But I was surprised I liked the um, From Beyond. And I'll let Lady Tamper in the house. For God's sake. No, we haven't. I thought. I always had me Tamper. From Jack the Piper, the guys you don't know out there, and you guys watching might be watching. If you fancy a nice tamper like this, go over to Jack the Piper, check his channel out, check his website out. Beautiful tampers. Okay, they're not cheap, but the quality on them, you're paying for the quality. Designed by Giuliano, which is the guy's name, he's a uh, jeweler. I trade and he makes these, he's made the moulds, he's made the, carved them all out himself and he's made them from scratch and there's, there's a couple of nice ones, there's this one, there's a Venus one I think there is and the uh, the wizard which I've got in my house which might be up for a, for a go when I reach me 2,000 subs, 2,200 subs, I wish I had 2,000 subs <laughs> yeah so I'm trying to get a go together at the moment because I'm pretty close to that 200 subs. But I want to try and make it a decent go, you know. I'm not saying no one's, I'm not, you know, knocking anybody, but I want to make it a go what you guys would be interested in and, you know, worth entering. So I'm just trying to get a few things lined up for that. I did want to get a few more of these in. Uh, I, did pro uh, I did say to Giuliano I was going to get a few more in November, December, but unfortunately, uh, as, as you know, things change, you know, if we all had hindsight, uh, yeah, to make things a lot better, but unfortunately, it didn't happen. So I apologise for that, Giuliano. I did make some promises to buy a few more off you, and it didn't happen, so I apologise. Can't wait to see your unboxing of your new lathe, your new record Co coronet. Is it coronet Herald? Lovely lathe. I've been looking at that myself. I was watching some videos. Um, there's a guy doing a video. He was, you know, um, he had like three different lathes, you know, and it's just you no know, pros and cons of each one. And that was one of them. L lovely looking lathe. variable speed control on it and obviously there's a few extras you can get on it it's like an emergency stop button isn't it where you can position anywhere you want a few other extras the um <coughs> the, tw the 12 inch um rest on it as well as i thought only um suitable if you're going to be bold you know do some big big bowl turning and stuff like that on it as well as the standard what's a five inch the standard uh, tool rest five inch on them but well, I was thinking of getting a mini lathe myself because obviously with me resin and stuff I want to I want to do some more work with uh, me resin stuff and you know especially if you're shaping eggs and things like that but I'm seriously been looking at the moment it's just been uh, sort of just browsing 
uh, especially all the people who are involved in resin who make resin um, yeah so I've got a few channels that I watch or subscribe to as uh, James on his live last night was on about pots and he was saying um, about getting a pressure pot or he had a pressure pot somewhere and I said and I think I mentioned in a comment I think you need a um, uh, pressure, yeah, pressure pot rather than a uh, vacuum chamber, which is what I think James has got. I also want to put a link up for a website, it's $99, but it's the cheaper version. The ones I've seen have got bigger collars. I know, sorry if I'm boring you guys. Um, for the, you put the resin in, obviously, it draws out all the bubbles and stuff like that. There, you, you know, you make your make your product, put it in the pot, put it in 24 hours or whatever it takes and obviously you, like a pressure pot, just the pressure just squeezes all the bubbles out and that's what I was trying to explain to James, um, even though I'm new to it and he's been doing it a long time, I thought he would have known someone like that but you know, we all we all learn, but I wasn't trying to be funny or anything with him, you know, I was just, uh, I'm just going from what I've been learnt and what I've been shown but I can't afford one because uh, I think about two hundred and fifty pounds. The ones I've been looking at, which you got on the, you got four locking collars on the pot. If you imagine a pressure pot, they're like um, car. They've sort of upgraded them. They mess around with the valves and stuff and change things about on the top. It's like car paint sprayers use, and um, these are about ten, ten gallon or ten litre pots, and they've got four locking screws on the top. The cheaper ones have got. Again, cheaper screws, they actually scratch and mark all the the lid of the pot, which and I suppose and I think they're harder to get a good um, lock on the screen, you can lock them down properly. So the ones I've been looking at I've got a bigger like a butterfly butterfly nut on them. Which are obviously that's why I said two hundred and fifty quid. But uh, I've had a look on this on the website and uh, they haven't got them in stock at the moment. They've only got the stupid sized ones which I can't afford. So that's another another tool I need to you know so I can carry on with my resin projects and stuff. But that knife James Dumbo had on last night, he made a he made a knife and it's uh and he made his own sheath with it. Oh that that leather work was stunning. He had a leaf imprinted on the on on the sheath. And yeah, the way you had the, the clasp going over the knife, so the knife wouldn't come out of the sheath. So it was sort of at an angle, it's it was folding over the knife at an angle, so it wouldn't come out of the sheath. That's a beautiful, beautiful sheath. I would have had that, I would have had that. But obviously customed over here, and wouldn't have got it through. I would have bought that, no problem. Beautiful work, James, beautiful work. And um, then cigar, cigar rest you're doing. Nice they are, buddy. Nice. Now, I've been looking at some pipe rests and stuff where I've been today, and um, they were they were much cop, you know. They were they were cheap, but they weren't. You know, they made the wood. They, I don't know whether it's must been like a pine or something, but been stained. Just you know, they'd be easily knocked over. So I, I passed on them. The few pipes, but nothing, nothing named or you know, but needed a lot of work, new stems, etc. One needed being so caked, the cake there, the cake on it. Jeez, it was a good few millimeters thick. So I passed up on them. But we're going to have a look at these mirrors again on Sunday. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Just a quick slurp of meat tea. Uh, so, I hope you're all having a good week. Anyway, and uh, whatever you got planned for the weekend, you have a good time. Uh, Paul Gilson. Uh, if you guys aren't subscribed to him, go and give him a sub, guys. I like him. He does a lot of reviews and stuff. A lot of pipe reviews. He does a lot of uh, tobacco reviews. 
probably on Tuesday or Thursday. I've got uh, it's, uh, Thursday. Sh Thursday show is Thursday. Thursday. You know, he's got, he normally has a, a can of uh, Bush Bush beer or Bush beer, and it's two for Tuesday where he has two tobaccos. So if you don't if you don't uh, know him, go and give him a sub. Big smoke, another one, guys. If you're not uh, sub subscribe to him, another guy. You've uh, not got many subs at the moment. I think you've got about 20 on, but yeah, he's coming onto the scene. Really clever man, engine about engineer. I think he's by trade. Really clever man. Real got some, get some good content out there already. Go and give him a sub, give him a like, check out his channel. Uh, and to the guys who've subscribed to me this week, sorry guys, I normally write uh, new subscribers down so I can mention you. So if you have subscribed, warm welcome to the channel. Uh, have a good look through, hope you enjoy it. Leave any comments, uh, be it, you know, anything negative or positive, you know, I'm willing to take it on the head. Autumn evening, that's nice. Is. I'm sorry if I didn't mention the uh, Ever Beyond from Beyond Cornell and Deal from Beyond. I managed to get hold of a few tins and that. I sent one over to um, Jack Ryan and Jack Ryan Pipes. Uh, hope you enjoyed that, Jack. There's something like I said, there's about six different tobaccos in that. Some of them I've not heard of. That's been going down rather well. I didn't think I was uh, into Latakia. here. Because I don't know. Is Latakia spicy? Or is that pretty spicy? Well, is Latakia supposed to be peppery? I can't remember, guys. Sorry. Sorry. But I didn't think I'd like it, but recently, some of the blends, what's got Latakia in, it's not been going down too bad. I don't know whether my me, me palate's changing a little bit. I'm still get, not getting the, the flavour profiles that you guys are getting. I'm just smoking it and. It's good, I'll carry on smoking it. There's a few a few times I've had uh, I've put a bowl, I've lit up a bowl and yeah. didn't like that and it just I've literally just turned 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 the pipe out. Just put something else in it and I think um, I've done that with plum pudding. It didn't sit with me at all. So I've left that uh, whether it's too fresh, I don't know. So I've left, I've jarred it up and, uh, <coughs> excuse me, stuck it in my cellar for a bit. I'll try that again, maybe. What's it been in there now for? Uh, up, October. About five or six months, so I'll, I'll give it another six months to try it again. And if it does sit with me, I'll, 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 give, I'll give it to somebody who does like it. the uh, battle age reserve as well somewhere I'm sorry if I'm going a bit dark on you guys yeah I think I'm going a bit dark on you I don't want, yeah it's getting a bit dark here so what I'll do I love you and leave you for now and don't forget if anyone can give me any advice on the meerschums what I've been looking at with the um, the screwing the screwing uh, between, on the between the stem and the, um, the shank I uh, this the I'll say the screwing threads or I don't know what was was screwed in Obviously, the, the stem screws on, and then is it screwed into the shank as well, or is it a glue fitting? I don't know. Please advise on that, guys. So I'll, let, I'll, I'll leave you now, guys. And uh, obviously, it's getting a bit dark and hard for you to see me. Um, yeah. So I love you and leave you. Wish you all sweet smokes. Have a great rest of the week, and I'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. All the best. Take care.